I'm Olari Waji Joseph Kola Oli, and I'm glad to have you here. By God's grace, I began to teach on vital things with respect to engaging the media as a believer and as a minister of the gospel. We looked at the place of media in the lives of men. We said that media is the plural of medium, a platform where knowledge perspectives and ideologies are communicated to others. It could be print media through books, it could be audio, it could be visuals, it could be television, it could be radio, it could be newspaper. Media is one of the major tools in the last days that the devil is using actively to bring many into a journey that leads to their destruction. But also we know that the message of the gospel requires a medium. We are God's media. You are a living epistle, the Bible says. Also, the Bible says we have our mouth and our lifestyles to preach the word of truth. But we're looking at the cyberspace, we're looking at the internet, we're looking at media, we're looking at social media. So we have considered also the intent for engaging because we are not engaging with the world's rules and the world system. We are engaging the world system from the paradigm of the kingdom. And we said that at the very core of the kingdom is the reality of eternity. And so now I want us to look from intent. We now need to move to the next point, which is content. And now I'll be very practical so that you can get the best out of this particular video. Very quickly, let me say that if you look at Mark chapter number 16, Mark chapter number 16, verse 15, the Bible says, And he said to them, this is Jesus after his resurrection, he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Many years ago, I had an argument where someone said that you, you, you don't need to preach the gospel. Um, with, when necessary, you should use your words. But, but that's not an accurate perspective. Jesus said, preach the gospel. In order for you to preach, it means you are proclaiming. In order to proclaim, you must use words. That word can be typed. It can also be spoken out. So when you're looking at the media, you, you are looking at something very powerful. Jesus says, go, engage, reach. But you see, the content of our media, the content of our reaching, the content of our pursuit. The, we have a content as believers. Your content is the gospel. So the content of the believer, number one, is the gospel. You may give other things, but, but, but you must remember that the underlying focus, why you are doing it, is Christ, is kingdom, the benefit of humanity is the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, you see a breakdown of the gospel here. That man is in sin, and every man born of a woman is for, has fallen short of the glory of God, and we're on our way to eternal destruction. But God, who is rich in mercy, you know, allowed for Christ to come die for our sins, was buried, and rose again for our justification. The message of the gospel is that if we believe in Him, we will receive His life, and as we prepare to reign with Him after this world, while we are on earth, we will occupy, we engage. That's what we are doing. So, but when it comes to content, there are believers who have good intent, but they don't have solid content. There are preachers who have good intent. They may fast for 500 days. They may fast for 200 days. But as far as engaging is concerned, they are not able to do much. And the reason for this, I'm going to begin to share. Number one, you need to know that there are rules for content development. There are rules for content management. There are rules for spreading what you, your message. What's your message? There are rules. Number one thing you need to know about content is that only high quality content, only high quality and valuable content will spread. Now, I need to give a, a, a close to this. Most times, mainstream media often uh, post strange captions, things that are untrue. That, that's not that's not for the believer. And so, someone may say, "Pastor houses twenty girls and impregnates nine of them," 
and then you just see pastor impregnating nine girls there is like a bait clip bait you you want to you, you you want to know what happened what did the pastor do that's not now it can be viral but that it is viral does not mean it is godly that is popular does not mean it is transforming that it is noisy does not mean it is rich but as a believer you are not giving your content just for fame you're not giving your content because you want to please men you are giving your content because you represent a kingdom it's an agenda but you see that you are representing the kingdom is not enough if you are representing the king of kings your content must be quality and must be valuable when we say valuable content what do we mean when you say that the content is valuable you are saying that that content answers the question of the audience it answers the question of the viewers it answers the questions bothering those who you are targeting it is like a target audience you are not sent to everybody your 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 content may not be able to help everybody at the same level the message of the gospel is universal everybody needs it but i'm saying that there are other things for example you want to write writing cannot help everybody until we understand what you are writing there has to be a niche there has to be a peer group there has to be a people you have in mind you know there has to be a demography you study you, you look at the people you want to address you want to reach out for example you read books and you find them talking about focus on the family so you know that, that the things you'll be reading will go around parenting relationship marriage the home fatherhood motherhood but that's for parents that's not for teenagers now when you're writing to youths and teenagers you, you begin to discuss issues like masturbation addiction pornography alcohol you know purity the holy spirit the fire of revival evangelism you know impact success when you're dealing with business people you, you're not just writing give your life to christ you are bringing valuable content how to make money now as a christian you can say how to make money god's way you can begin to give principles for you know customer service you so so there has to be a target don't 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 scatter if you scatter your content you, you may not be able to really make impact so number one only high quality and valuable content will spread that now the word spread there is now it is possible and i've seen this happen even to me you can have valuable content and it doesn't spread in in, in, a, in a short time you can you can do a teaching and it may be after two three years that more people begin to now gravitate towards it. it happens your goal however is to make sure that you keep delivering valuable content consistently now we're still going to get to that number two is your content must be informative your content must be informative it must be useful and it must be relevant some things are informative but they are not relevant for example you go online and then you say 21 ways to catch a fish in the ocean that's informative okay um, put a bait put f1 put a fruit is informative but let the water be so 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 degrees is informative is not relevant we are not a we are not fishermen you know when you take that same information to fishermen it is no more just informative it is valuable to them but that's not a field we are the questions we are asking is different from what the fisherman is asking is asking you see that now look at this your content must be informative it must be useful and it must be relevant i don't know if you've seen books before you go to the bookshop and then you see some titles you were planning to buy a book on leadership then you see a title that says why i hate my father you say why you hate your father ah how can somebody write this kind of book let, let me let me find out why did he write it and then you forget about the book you wanted to buy why because there are rules to content you see you, you can have the right content and the wrong title can shut the door against the spread of your content for example you write on you write on young ministers and ministry and then you caption it well one of the ways to do any ministry it, it, it sounds too weak it sounds too vague it, it doesn't look serious it doesn't look professional 
You see that your, your, your content has to be informative, it has to be useful, it has to be valuable. There are people who start, for example, if I started and I say, you know what, just go and like this video. You can't like a video if you were not following the thread. If you don't, if I'm not communicating value, you won't like it. By the way, please do well to like the video and comment so that um, when we have time, my team will read your comment. I would like to hear from you. Number three, very quickly. When it comes to content, you, you need to understand this. Go where the people are. Now, I don't want to read meaning into scriptures and try to impose anything on the Bible. But if you consider the ministry of Jesus, you found out that the people came to look for him. It's true. But there were times when Jesus went to the people. For example, you see Jesus going into the Sanhedrin. What was he going to do to teach? He should have sat in his bedroom. But you see Jesus was on itinerary, reaching out to people from different places. In John chapter 4, remember John chapter 4? The woman at the well, the Bible says, and he must needs go through Samaria. Why? Because there was a woman there who Jesus will connect with. John C. Maxwell wrote a book many years ago. He said, everyone communicates, few connect. Jesus knew that there was a woman he would connect with. Although she seemed to be a nobody in the society, she seems to be somebody who people have looked down upon. But Jesus knew that if he could communicate the content and give it to her, she will be able to receive that content and then go out to become an evangelist immediately. The woman went from Jesus and brought an entire territory to Jesus. What the chief priest could not achieve, a woman achieved. Why? Because he went where she was. He didn't wait for her to come to him. So this is what it means. Now, now what, what you're doing online, where do you have your strongest audience? Where are your audience strongest? Is it on Instagram? If it's on Instagram, then continue working hard on that particular you know, application. Is it Facebook? Continue consistently there. Is it WhatsApp? Continue there. There are people who are on WhatsApp who see your post every day but still don't even know what you are about. They don't know what your business is about. They don't know what your ministry is about. And you are one, and you are praying to God to bless your business. This is the answer to your prayers. People must know what exactly you are about. Your message has to be clear. Your mission has to be clear. Your vision has to be clear. So that even your writings, your videos, your skits will be in line with your purpose. Because it must begin with discovery. After discovery, you come to the point of diligence. Where you work on that which you have discovered. After diligence, which continues till eternity, you, you enter the realm of refining. You begin to refine that which you have discovered and you are laboring upon. Then you begin to serve. That's the point number four. As you serve your gifts freely, as you serve and give value. Now, somebody may say, well, I, I, I don't know. Is it, is it wise to give something valuable online just like that for free? Listen, one of the ways you know that the content you are bringing, whether it is audio or visual, one of the ways you know that it is valuable is that it's more, you must feel it when you are giving it out. While you are clicking the share button, if, if, if it doesn't feel as if something is leaving you, then maybe it may not be really valuable and it may not fly. You should feel that ah, this, this is precious, exactly. Now someone may say, but, but if I give it, what else would I have left? No, the liberal soul shall be made fat. He that water it also himself shall be water. If you give, you will receive. Your, your giving valuable content is your platform for receiving number one, followers. Number two, referrals. In business, every business tycoon knows that there is something called the power of referrals. One person can link you to another person that can link you to an entire school, an entire university, an entire nation. So, so it depends on who later gets to see what you are doing. Interestingly, somebody who doesn't have influence can see what you are doing and be so touched by it and post it or do something and it begins to have a domino effect. And the person that will take you to the next level in your ministry, in your career, in your assignment, sees it and that's it and picks it up. That's how it works. You never lose for giving out valuable content. You don't lose. You don't lose. It always comes back to you more. People, now, 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 when it comes to attention, there are people who say, for example, I don't have a lot of followers. I need followers. Should I buy followers so that, you know, when you come to my page, it's impressive. 
say yes i'm making a statement well i would advise that uh, you see there are three things when it comes to attention on social media number one there are people who buy attention right number two there are those who beg for attention number three they are those who earn the attention of others there are those who buy attention there are those who beg for attention there are those who earn the attention of others why because they are steady in giving value has it ever happened to you before and i want to think about it has it happened to you before you just stumbled on someone's page online and in 20 minutes you feel wow wow Wow, and you're stuck there. You didn't even know how you forgot about what you wanted to search online and you were stuck there almost the entire week. You kept checking back and forth. You went from the beginning of last year, you kept checking. And then before you knew it, you were screenshotting, you were sending to friends. You Now you were giving referrals indirectly. Why? Because it is valuable. People are eager, proud of something valuable and are always willing to share it. That's how it works, unless the person is just someone who is maybe doesn't want others to benefit. But if anything really benefits people in our world, once they click the share button, that's it. Somebody gets to see it. So you either buy attention, beg for attention, or you earn attention. And so what I'm teaching is how to earn attention. So how do you earn attention? Number one, learn to teach how to's. Don't just go and say, well, I just want to vent my heart. This is how I'm feeling. If all your videos, all your audios, all your write-ups, your blogs are all about just this is just how I'm feeling. People see people are busy with their lives too. People are also feeling something. Do you see that? There are people who prefer to sleep than to read something or watch something boring that waste their data, waste their time, and gets them even more offended. So so it's not about this is just how I'm feeling. No, no. You can write that in your diary. But what do you do? Teach how to's how to be filled with the Holy Spirit how to be empowered for ministry how to be if for example you bake how to bake in 35 minutes how to teach your children to read and write how to start the first chapter of your book for example by the grace of god i've i've, I've written about 14 released about 14 books and there are others that i have not released yet i could coach you in 30 minutes i could coach a person how to write a book from the cover page to the final full stop to the to printing to to delivery to marketing to selling i, I could teach you all the in-betweens and the twist and the turns why because number one i tell people don't claim to be a consultant online if number one there are no results to show for what you are claiming to consult for number two there's no track record of excellence number three if nobody has has joined to recommend you is it, is there, there is a track record to it so people like to know okay does she have a track record what has she done what are her achievement it is not look at this it is not humility to hide your achievement from your customers from your clients from your followers because people who visit your page they want to know your pedigree they want to know where you are coming from you don't write a book and say he's, he's just a brother to the glory of god amen there are some people that don't have the time to quickly check two chapters for free. The books, some of them are sealed. They just want to see the back. They want to see, is there a track record, no track record? They say, may just be an hungry author, even though your intent is right. So, teach how to's. Number two, make them think and learn new things. Don't keep going and saying the same things, the same things. One time, someone went to preach somewhere and then he said, today I'll be teaching you on the power of Pentecost and then another time for example he goes to this another church and says the power of Pentecost another time he comes to the same church and says I want to teach you on the power and as he said the power people said of Pentecost have I taught it yet for this? yes I have taught it yet so don't, don't, don't be too repetitive make people think and learn people should read your books your ebooks your posts see your videos and and be inspired they should learn something new i remember one of my books i was sharing about titanic i don't know if you remember titanic i was sharing on titanic and i found out that it's even possible that people who get to read their books years, years after may not even understand the story or have ever seen the movie titanic and some of them want to go watch and go see and i began to bring leadership lessons and wisdom from it so make people learn new things make people learn let people learn 
Now, number three, very quickly. Number one, we said teach how to. Number two, make people think and learn new things. You will see Jesus. He, he